Congratulations on being Artist of the Year uh, for the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. I really need to correct myself. Artists of the Year, as in Nico Case and K.D. Lang and you, Laura Veers. Uh, you've, I've always known you as a solo artist. Uh, uh, this is your first collaborative project of an album. Uh, first seeing, feeling the light of day back in uh, at Tucker Martin's studio. You know Tucker. Uh, that was in late 2015, mm -hmm. album released last year. These things take time. They do. Yeah, I think the whole idea was Katie's idea about f four years ago. Was she already living in Portland at the time? She was. She had moved up from L.A., and um, she emailed me and Nico out of the blue. We had met recently because she sang on my record, and actually Nico did. Um, so we had met around that time, all three of us, and I think Katie just got this wild hair and was like, I want to make a band with those two. You are each artist completely in your own right. How did the idea for this special collaboration come to see the light of day? Well, it was a long process. So from the invitation to the release was about three and a half years. So a lot of writing back and forth, me and Katie meeting um, for, you know. Writing everything. back and forth as in emailing and just talking about it, oh, or as no, in writing, writing so song. Writing, mm. Meaning actually Nico flying back and forth. So writing sessions two or three weeks where we'd write like four hours a day together. And then she'd fly off and be busy touring, and then Katie and I would meet up separately, and then we'd send a song to Nico. And there was just a lot of back and forth over email, a lot of back and forth of Nico flying. Luckily, she came to us because I've got the two little kids, so it's harder you for me do, to yeah. travel. You uh, do, yeah. What did you each offer each other, do you think, that jived and then went, it could go off into different directions that both that reflected your individuality as the three of you, but yet combining somehow? Well, I have Tucker to thank for that because he really wanted to make sure that each person's individual voice shone through, literally singing on the record, but also their artistic voice. And so I think what Nico brought to the table was a real lyrical genius because she's just amazing with words, and I actually kind of envy her her ability to write lyrics. And it was really like pulling teeth to get her to write anything. But um, once she sat down there, she'd be like, we should go get coffee. And we're like, well, we're actually supposed to be writing songs. She's like, let's go to the magazine store. And I'm like, oh, well, we're supposed to be writing. Let's go get a smoothie. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> like, after three hours of dawdling, she'd sit down and write something totally brilliant. I'd be like, can you just show me how you did that? And, you know, that's the kind of thing that... What, was, what do you think her secret was? She's that she... just a brilliant lyricist. And I think that's just a gift that she has. And I think for Katie, she's a brilliant singer, and she's a brilliant interpreter, and she's able to manipulate. Yeah, it, Katie song. does cover beautifully, doesn't she? She's an incredible singer. I mean, that's her main strength. I think she's also a great writer and a great collaborator, but I think in terms of performance, bravado, interpretation, skill as a like interpreter of music, I, she's like a vessel of music. She can translate song through her body out to please the people. <laughs> Any hopes for pulling together these fractured times with another project maybe or your music, your musics individually? What are your hopes? Well, I just have, I decided to write a new sol solo album, so that's coming out in April. So I think, you know, it was a challenging project in a lot of ways, logistically and also personality-wise. Sometimes we just, you know, we're three like strong-willed artists who are used to doing our own thing. So to kind of have to compromise along every step of the way, whether it's the lyrics, the song, the artwork, the manager, the tour, the whatever, it's just like a lot of logistics. So I think we, we all needed a break, but you never know. It was really great. We're all still friends, so we might do something again. But I think right now we're all focusing on our solo solo path. 